Welcome to Structure for Beginners in SolidWorks. If you are new to the Worldman Workbench, this first part will show a few basic tips that will help you get started. You can always find the welding tools if you go into Insert Weldments. But it's much easier to just add it to the existing workbenches by right clicking and checking weldments. Now as you can see the weldment workbench has been added to the other workbenches and you can easily gain access to all the tools by clicking it. As you can see some of the icons is unavailable. This is because you need to have a sketch before you can add uh, any structural members. Try to create a sketch on the top plane for example. Make a simple line. There's no need to dimension it or anything. Just a demonstration. Go into weldments and as you can see the icon for structural members is now available. Click the structural member icon. Now as you can see in the selections window if you go into the pull down menu for standard there are already two predefined standards available. If you take the ISO for example go into type select rectangular tube go into size there are only four different sizes available. Now you can add more sizes and standards to the catalog. If you go into the design library, expand the SolidWorks content and click Weldments. Now several different standards becomes available to download. If you hover the mouse on top of the icon, a little annotation tells you that you can download these files if you control click it. In this example I will download and install the DIN and the ISO standards. Control click, select a location for the zip folder, do the same with the ISO. When the download is complete, extract the files from the zip folder. The location doesn't really matter because later on in the process you will tell SolidWorks where to find the profiles. Try to go into the DIN standard for example. And notice all the different types of themes available in this standard. So now you need to tell SolidWorks where to find the profiles. Go into System Options. Select File Locations. In the pull down menu, all the way in the bottom. Select Weltman Profiles. Select Add. Browse to the folder with the downloaded standards. Select the main folder. Click OK. As you can see, a link has been created to the DIN standard. Select Add again. Select ISO. OK and the link has been created to the ISO folder. Select OK. Select OK to create the two links. Now try to click the structural member icon. Go into standards and as you can see the DIN standard has been added to the list. Try to go into the ISO standard on the type select 
rectangular tube as before and notice there is a lot more sizes than previous try to select a size for example 200 times 100 times 10 and click the line created in the sketch as you can see the profile has now been added to the line this completes the first part of structure for beginners in SOLIDWORKS in the next part, part 2, we will take a look at how to create a 3D sketch for a structure with structural members. Thank you for watching.